Hi everyone, this is JD, your gadget review friend. Google Pixel 2 or 2 XL is a game changer. And current phones today are reaping what these two champs started 3 years ago. They started the night shots and also perfected the portrait shots, which gives the SLR and mirrorless a run for their money. With great photos that these workhorses produces, it changed the way we think about mobile photography. Given it's 3.5 years old, is it still a good phone to buy in 2021? Today, we're looking at the photography champ of 2017. We're reviewing the Google Pixel 2 XL. Is it still worth it? Hey, don't forget to subscribe, my friend. Let's go! Let's start with the design. Although there's a top bezel and chin, the design looks like a newer Pixel phone. I'll explain. The front part of the phone looks similar to a Pixel 4 XL. Although Pixel 4 XL has a thinner bezel and chin, it's no different. It looks the same. Looking at the back, it looks exactly like Pixel 3 XL. Is it a good thing? No, it's a great thing. For someone who doesn't know anything about phones and saw your device for the first time, who knows you're holding an almost 4-year-old phone, right? Phone still looks like last year thanks to the odd-looking Pixel 4 XL. The build quality of the phone screams premium. Both front and back glass is protected by Gorilla Glass and the side has aluminum frame. The back panel houses the single camera module and the fingerprint sensor. It also has the two-tone design. All in all, this phone looks stunning and classic. Off to our next review which is the performance. This phone is running on Snapdragon 835 with 4 gigs of RAM. Even if the processor is aging, it will still perform better than any other phone in its price range right now. And this is a snappy phone given it received the last OS upgrade, the Android 11. As I mentioned on my other videos, almost 60% of Android users are still using the outdated Android 8, 9, and 10. And only less than 1% is using Android 11. So you're one of the lucky person who will use Android 11 at a dirt cheap price. It will run heavy gaming on medium performance. I felt some hiccups in some cases, but nothing striking. Light games such as Temple Run and Subway Surfer are generally fast. I have no issue opening apps, streaming services, and using it for phone calls and text. Next is the screen. The screen is a large 6-inch P-OLED display with 18 by 9 aspect ratio. Although the phone is big, the screen real estate is smaller compared to the size of the newer phones today since the upper and lower bezels have stereo speakers. It has 438 nits of max brightness that is just sufficient for an outdoor use. Visibility on direct sunlight is challenging in most situations with darker background and text. The colors of the screen are punchy and has deep blacks. And yes, it's not the best OLED panel, but I will take this dimmer OLED screen than a bright LCD display any time of the day. Hey, just a side note, if you own Pixel 2 or Pixel 2 XL, we will make more videos about these phones in the future. We keep all our devices and do more content about it. Please subscribe to our channel. It means a lot to us. We're uploading daily. On to our next review which is the sound. This is one of the strengths of Pixel 2 XL aside from the camera. It has two front firing stereo speakers. This is one of my best sound tests I've done on this channel. I'm testing it together with my Pixel 3 XL. It's almost comparable. There's no difference. Maybe Pixel 3 XL is a tad louder, but Pixel 2 XL has rich and full sound and has great bass. Next is battery. Depending on how old your device is, this is a mixed bag for us. My own unit has a weaker battery now since I've used it for almost 4 years. 
I can still play one and a half hour of solid gaming, an hour of video and music streaming, another hour for social networking, and occasional use for call, text, and camera. I still have more or less 15% at the end of the day. Well, if you look at my phone usage, if you're not a gamer, this phone will last you for the whole day of moderate usage. And saving my last review for the camera. Google has perfected the single camera module from Google Pixel 1 to 3. It feels like when all phone manufacturers are adding more and more camera modules to their phones, Google is just straight up flexing their computational photography. Pixel 2 XL only has a single outdated 12 megapixel sensor. And when you think that's a disadvantage, images that comes out of this phone are clear, punchy, and confident. It's like the images you will see from the newer phones today or even for the next 2 to 3 years. It is honestly good. Videos can record 4K at 30 FPS, 1080 at 30 FPS, and 720p at 240 FPS, all with gyro EIS or electronic image stabilization. Videos are good. So, what is Gadget RevNow's verdict? Pixel 2 XL in 2021. I don't see any groundbreaking phone photography technology or technique that will beat what Pixel 2 XL can produce. Sure, there might be a slight difference from the newer Pixel phones, but honest to goodness, it does not translate to real life photography experience. Everything is just hype and marketing. If you have this phone, the only issue I see is the weak battery life at this point. It might not be as strong as it used to be. The mediocre screen might also be one of the factors why you wanted to switch to a newer phone. But everything else from Android 11 OS, camera performance, and build quality, it is still a solid phone for 2021. You might get this around $100 use and it's dirt cheap. From everything that you will get from it, especially the images it produces, feels like a $1,000 phone for 2021. If you enjoyed this video, consider subscribing. I will post daily videos of gadget reviews, comparisons, rumors, and leaks. The goal of this channel is to review and compare devices as simple as possible, concise, and friendly, and keeping you updated with the latest happenings around the tech world. Don't forget to drop your comment, like, and share. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.